There's so many different ways to layer in Distress with Home Decor Chalk Paint. This is a layering block and this makes distressing furniture, big pieces and little pieces perfect. On this surface, I've painted it, let it dry. I'm gonna take a little bit of the black chalk paint and pour that onto my palette. You don't need too much. And when using the layering block, it's got this beautiful handle. What you're gonna do is you're gonna dip into your paint and then you're gonna remove some of that paint. You don't wanna remove all of it, but you don't want a bunch of paint dripping off of the wood block. When doing a big piece of furniture, the great thing about this is you will load the entire block and it goes right across the top of a dresser or the edge of chairs. But because I'm doing just a cute home decor accent piece, I am just gonna load that side of the layering block. So you dip into your paint and then you remove some of it on your palette and then a very light grip. You don't wanna mash down on your surface and you wanna stay flat with what you're distressing. You just want to drag that very lightly along the edge of your project. You wanna go up and around. You wanna kinda of think where something would naturally distress if it was old or if it was out in the weather. And everything usually distresses more around the edges. You wanna pick up paint as you need it and just very lightly drag that onto your surface. And to get a heavier distress look, very light handed, you can just softly drag that. If this was the top of a table, you could do it on a bench. You just wanna create the look of where that paint would have chipped off. So that is a great way to create a beautiful distressed finish. So remember, the reason I love the home decor chalk paint so much is because you can layer color after color and get such a beautiful finish. So using the same layering block, this is the base coat of blue, then I distressed it with the layering block and I did the black, and now I'm gonna add another color, which just creates such a beautiful finish. So this is a little bit of the light blue, this is Glacier, and using the same technique as we did with the black, make sure everything is dry, you just pounce the layering block into your paint and then next to it, just remove a little bit. You don't wanna remove it all, but you don't want too much paint on there. Again, with a really soft grip, staying flat with your surface, you just wanna lightly drag that around the edges. And what you're doing there is just creating all of this dimension where paint would age and chip off of a piece of furniture. This is great for furniture. This is great for small pieces. It's great for anything that you wanna create that beautiful farmhouse finish. For more inspiration, visit platonline.com.